we're going to talk about Cauchy's integral formula, which is a formula so simple yet so stupidly great that, you know, it builds the basis of complex analysis. Real integrals suck compared to complex integrals, is what you'll figure out soon. Real integrals are messy to calculate. You have to go through each one without getting a nice rule that works for everything, especially for line integrals. But complex line integrals? Contour integrals? Well, I guess we'll see. So what is Cauchy's integral for? Well, it tells us that, this is pretty unbelievable, 2 pi i f of z naught is equal to the contour integral over any closed curve, closed and simple, which means it's not self-intersecting other than at the endpoints, is the integral over this closed and simple contour of f of z divided by z minus z naught dz. That's right. The entire integral, that is, everything inside here, can be determined by one point in there. Imagine if I told you the population of an apartment building in a city, and you could calculate the exact population of the city from that alone. That's how stupid this formula is. So, I mean, how do we prove this formula? Well, that's also absurdly simple. Here's what we do. We take g of x as a piecewise function. Well, it should be more like g of z naught. It's sometimes equal to f of z, uh, no, z of z, f of z, minus f of z naught over z minus z naught and sometimes equal to f prime of z naught. So this only works if f is a uh, holomorphic at z naught and everywhere else. So from this logic, z is continuous and analytic at every single point except uh, z naught. And even there, if it's only continuous at one point, I mean, that's still fine. Sorry, uh, I need to say, if it's only non-analytic at one point, that's totally fine with us, as long as we're working with a closed and simple curve. Then, all we have to do is try and take the integral of gz, and two things pop out. The integral of f of z minus f of z naught, z minus z naught dz. Now this looks messy, but through Cauchy's theorem, we're able to say that this, through the fundamental theorem of contour integrals, is equal to zero if you integrate over the contour, the simple closed contour, which means that, sorry, should have changed it a while ago, this integral is equal to zero. And so you can split it up into the integral of f of z naught over z minus z naught and the integral of f of z over z minus z naught. This is not a constant, which is sad, but that is a constant. So it comes outside. And even better, one over z minus z naught has a fixed integral for any simple closed curve. It's always exactly equal to 2 pi i due to the branch cut of ln z minus z naught. Which means this just reduces to 2 pi i f of z naught. That's how simple it is. Now, let's see just how powerful this is with one example. I mean, you can all already probably infer the power, but let's just try it out. First of all, let's try to integrate, I don't know, e to the minus x squared over x minus 1 oh, dx over the real line. 
let's say from, I don't know, 0 to 1. Or, I mean, to make it easier, minus infinity to infinity. How would you even start approaching this? Well, I mean, I guess we know the integral of the thing on top, so we try integration by parts. So you would take this as the preserved thing, u, and this as no. But u isn't going to work. We have to try dv, and this as u, 1 over x minus 1. So you get this times that integral. Minus that integral. But here's the problem. This ju doesn't just go away. It becomes 1 over x minus 1 squared. What do you do about that? That's just going to get worse and worse. And if you pick this as the dv instead, you're only going to go backwards. So, I mean, you're screwed. But what happens if we evaluate it in the complex plane? Well, e to the minus x squared over x minus 1 now becomes e to the minus z squared over z minus 1, dz, over this closed contour. And so this is just equal to 2 pi f, where f is e, of z, e to the z squared, of 1. That's stupid, right? But, I mean, what happens when you take this? You get 2 pi e to the 1 squared, which is just e for any closed contour, including one that just goes forth and back and gives you 0 to 1. This function is just 2 pi e. The integral of this is 2 pi e. That's how simple it was all along. That's how powerful the Cauchy integral formula.